So for this part of the question then, we're now asked to find an equation for the circle C. In order to do this, you should be familiar with the equation of a circle. Let's just remind you, it is essentially this, that if you've got a circle with centre coordinates x1, y1 and a radius r, it has this form here. So we have the coordinates of the centre. We have our x1 and our y1, 7 and 5 respectively. What we don't have though is the radius r. But if we return to the first part of the question, remember we had to find the equation of the line PA. And so what I'm going to be doing is getting the coordinates of P by looking at simultaneous equations. We can equate the equation of the line passing through PA with that of L, establish the coordinates of P, and then from that we should be able to work out the radius PA. And we can substitute our x1, y1 values and r into this equation, and that will get the equation of the circle. OK, so that's the method I'm going to be using. So if we look then at what we already know, that is the equation of PA from the first part was 2y plus x equals 17. Then for this coordinate point P here, we just have our two equations, y equals 2x plus 1, which I'll call 1, and 2y plus x equals 17. I'll call that equation 2. Solving these simultaneously, all I need to do is substitute equation 1 into equation 2, so into 2. And if we do that, you're going to get 2 times the y, 2 times the 2x plus 1. And that's going to be plus another x, and that's going to be equal 17. So just border this off, come down here, and... What have we got next? Well, if we expand the bracket out, I can see we've got 4x here plus another x. That's going to give me 5x. And then we've got 2 times the 1, which is 2. Take it away from both sides. 17 take away 2. That leaves me with 15. And if I divide through by 5 to both sides, I therefore have x equals 3. Now I know that x is 3, I can substitute x equals 3 back into equation 1, say. And that will give me my y value, and that leads on to y equaling 2 times 3, which is 6, plus another 1, that's going to be 7. So therefore, my coordinates for p are 3, 7. Now that I've got the coordinates of p, 3, 7, I'll just mark them on here. We're in a position now to get that radius from P to A. We can just use Pythagoras' theorem. Think of this triangle through here, a right angle triangle. Should be familiar with working out the distance between two points. It's just essentially the difference in the x coordinate squared plus the difference in the y coordinate squared square rooted. That will give us that hypotenuse there. So therefore, we can work out what the radius is going to be. The radius will be the difference then in the x coordinates. So that would be 3 minus the 7. Okay, or you could do 7 minus 3. It doesn't make any difference. We square that and to that we add the difference in the y coordinates. So that would be 7 minus the 5 there. 7 minus the 5, and we square that. And normally, we'd take the square root of all of this lot. But knowing that it's going to be the radius squared that we want, I'm just going to put radius squared there and do away with the square root sign. And working this out, we've got 3 minus 7, which is going to be negative 4. Square that, you're going to get 16. 7 minus 5, that's 2. Square that, you get 4. Add that together and you end up with 20. And so now we've got everything we need to work out the equation of that circle C. So just put in a note here, equation of C is, and 
using our form up here, it's going to be x minus x1, the center of the circle, which is the 7. That's squared plus y minus the y1. That's going to be the 5 there, the y coordinate center of the circle. Square that equals the radius squared, which we've seen is 20. And there's our equation. OK, so I hope you've been able to see your way through that if it caused any problems. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next part, maybe.